Today we're in the kitchen making Taiwanese tofu lettuce wraps. These are so delicious and easy to make. Let's get started. Let's start by prepping our ingredients. Cook three quarters of a cup of jasmine rice to package directions and season with salt. Next, we're going to peel and mince one ounce of fresh ginger. It doesn't have to be exact, you can eyeball it. It will come to about a tablespoon or so of minced ginger. I love using a bench scraper to scoop up all my minced vegetables and put them in a ramekin for when I'm ready to cook. Now we're going to prep our super firm tofu. I love using super firm because you don't have to press the water out of it. It's already pretty firm and super high in protein. So you just open it up, take it out of the package, and you're going to drain off the little bit of liquid that's in there. And then next you're going to take a paper towel or a regular towel and just pat it dry and that's it. Then you're going to simply start tearing it into pieces. I like using this tearing method instead of cutting it because it creates more surface area for flavor to stick to. We're just going to set this aside in a bowl for when we're ready to cook and use our bench scraper to clean up the cutting board. Now we're gonna prep our garlic. We need two cloves of garlic. We're going to peel those cloves of garlic and then I just smash them with the broad side of my knife to remove the peels easily. And then I will mince the garlic finely. You can also use a garlic press, but I wanted to minimize the number of tools we were using. So um, I just use my knife for this and then start chopping it more finely. And then once again, I will scrape this all into a little ramekin to get ready for cooking. Now we're going to prep our green onions. We need two green onions, and we're just gonna chop those pretty finely. This is going to be in the base of our sauce. So we're just gonna set those aside, and then we're going to measure out quarter of a cup of sunflower seeds. These are gonna add a really nutty, delicious flavor. And then two ounces of pitted dates. You can use medjool or um, deglet dates, but if you're using medjool dates, you need about three dates and you're just going to chop those into smaller pieces and then set those aside as well. Next, we're going to measure out three tablespoons of a Japanese rice wine called Mirin. And this has a delicious umami flavor and adds a little sweetness. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. And we're going to prep a head of romaine by washing it and cutting the base off and then separating the leaves. We will just put those on a hand towel to dry. So those will be kind of hanging out until we're ready to go. Okay, we're in the home stretch. We need half an ounce of fresh cilantro and we're just going to wash and rough chop that. And that will kind of be our garnish and add a little bit of additional flavor on the top. This is totally optional because I know some people aren't big cilantro fans. So. Um, you can set that aside for people to add themselves. And then we just need salt and pepper and a little bit of avocado cooking spray to keep the tofu from sticking. It's great for high heat cooking. So there we go. There's all of our ingredients prepared. And we're also going to get a quarter cup of water ready to use for the sauce. Let's get ready to cook the tofu. We're gonna heat this pan over medium high heat and spray with some avocado cooking spray. When it's hot, you're gonna test with one piece to see if it sizzles. If it does, add the rest because it is hot enough. Now spread it out and just let it sit until it starts to brown and spray the top with some more avocado spray, season with a little bit of salt and pepper. And again, you're just gonna be letting this sit until one side browns. Don't keep stirring it. So you're also gonna cut it into even smaller pieces with your spatula. This is gonna create even more surface area. 
When it's ready to turn, it's gonna be brown on one side like that. So test with one piece and then start your flipping. This is about after five minutes of cooking. And then what you're gonna do is manually turn over a few pieces to make sure you're browning the light side. Spray again, wait another five minutes, and turn it again until you reach the desired brownness. Then you're gonna remove it from the pan and set it aside so we can get ready to make our sauce. Now to the empty pan, we're gonna add our garlic. And this pan's still hot. You may wanna spray it again with a little more avocado spray. Our ginger. And the green onions. And also our sunflower seeds. And then you're gonna to wanna to stir that around. Let that brown for about two minutes or so. Then we're gonna add the dates and our measured out mirin and soy sauce. See how fast it's going now? So it's really nice to have it all prepared already. There goes the soy sauce. And then you're gonna wanna add some water. So a quarter cup of water. You may wanna add a little more later. And then you're gonna add the tofu back. So you cooked that sauce for about, I don't know, two more minutes. Add your tofu. You may wanna add a little more water and then stir that around. And that's all it is, you guys. It's so easy. Lay out your lettuce, top with some of that prepared rice, some of your delicious tofu mixture. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so good. I can't wait for you to try it. And then a little bit of fresh cilantro for garnish. That's totally optional. And then you're gonna wanna take a bite and get that crunch. It's so delicious. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you try it and have fun with it. And we will see you in the next video.